XRP, we start with monthly chart. We want to see uh, whether we can get a look for any trade setup or not. Anyway, we don't have much thing to discuss based on monthly. That's why we move to lower time frame. We move to the weekly chart. And again, based on weekly chart, we mentioned if the price could break this zone, 67 following by 50, 67 following by 76 cent, then we can expect this is the start of the move. At least we get the, uh, we expect, I mean, we can expect to see the breakout of 1.5. All right. But the question is this, the price couldn't break the previous top and it, it tends to the correction. Now the question is whether this is a correction for continuation or this one is going to turn to a flat for the next drop. That's mean whether we have to wait for the 30 cent before we see the reversal or not. This is what we have been discussing. That's why if we refer to last two to three months analysis, we mentioned if this one turned to a flat, we can expect the price drop to somewhere around 30 before we look for the reversal. Okay. But we don't this is the best option we can look for. But be, because of the case between the XRP and SEC, which we're expecting to be solved within this year, that's why now we don't need to wait for this option. But we have to be aware of that. And right now we're looking at this one. We want to see if this is the correction. And this is what we're looking for as a short-term target, as a 67 following by 70 cent. And with the breakout of this zone, we're looking for breakout of any of this stuff. That means we can expect at least this one to be in relative to what we have here. Or we see the continuation to see the breakout of the all-time high. By the way, that means we have two different options. That's why if anyone wants to look for trade, they have to wait for the trade setup. They do, cannot take the trade simply. But based on weekly chart, I don't see any trade setup. And if you move to lower time frame, based on daily chart, even when the price was within this move, we they discuss about the next drop. Now we get this one as a three-way flat in relative to what we get here. All right. Now, can we put this one in relative to what we have here? All right, we are not going to into the details. We don't want to make it very complicated, but how deep this one can go? At least even if there is a continuation, we see the correction here, we can expect the price drop to 42 cent before we look for the reversal. But we don't want to see the breakout of the 42 because if the price could break the 42, then we can expect even the price drop to the 30 cent. That's why if anyone wants to look for buy, they have to wait for the trade setup. Simply, they cannot take the trade. Anyway, if we get any opportunity for buy within this flat, this correction, the targets we are looking for, as what I discussed based on weekly, 67 following by 76 cent, and mostly we want to see the breakout of this zone. We want to see the breakout of the 76 to confirm for continuation, all right? But at this point, we don't see any trade setup based on daily chart. That's why we move to forward chart. And based on forward chart, all right, right now, or oh, even one hour chart later, we move to one hour chart. I'm looking at this one as a correction. That's mean if I get any opportunity for buy from here, I will take it. First, we consider as a short term, then we see how is the how, how the it can move. All right, why we, call, we consider as a short term because we can expect this one to give us one move up as our three wave. We look for the next drop, we see the divergence based on both of the indicators before we look for the continue reversal and continuation. That's why if anyone wants to look for buy from here, they should be aware that if the price could give us one move up, there was no continuation or continuation as a corrective, the possibility for the next drop following by divergence is very high. That's why if we get one more drop following by divergence, it can give us better confirmation for the reversal, but we don't need to wait for that option. If you get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it and we consider as a short term setup. Anyway, we move to lower time frame. We move to uh, one hour chart. We want to see how we can look for trade. And if we move to a one hour chart, similar explanation as what we have based on forward chart. I'm considering this one as a correction relative to what we have here, at least for one move up, how we can look for trade. Either we look for the sharp move flag, like we take the trade, or we can put a warning tree above that desktop. All right, that's mean we can put a warning tree above here. And what we want, what we expect, we want the price sharply tag, break, and continue the price tag. We see it's not, there, there is no continuation within the first or maximum second hours. We have to take all the trade, All right. How about, uh, and can we put a warning tree above here? I don't suggest it. If we see one more drop with the breakout of the lowest price of this correction, then we can move our entry about from here to above this one. It's very close to each other. That's why we prefer to put our entry above here. Anyway, 
it depends on the strategy the traders are looking for. But if you get any opportunity for buy from here, we will take it. That's when we look for one more up. Then from there, we want to see whether there is a continuation or we can get one more drop. How high it can go? Simply, we can put our FIB here and we look for 27, uh, for, for the target. Again, it depends on the strategy the traders are looking for. But for me, if I get any opportunity for buy from here, then I will give update and I will come up with the, the targets. All right. But again, we should, if we get any opportunity for buy here, for one move up, the possibility for the next drop is very high. That's why if you get any trade will buy, as long as we get into the profit, we have to move our stop loss to break even or we should know how to manage it. Because with the one move up, how about if we get a divergence? Anyway, again, it depends on the strategy that tr traders are looking for. But for me, if I get any opportunity for buy here for as a short term, I will take it. Because at the based on higher time frame, with the breakout of this correction, that's mean if you get any opportunity for buy from here, this is the targets I'm looking for, 67 following by 76, and then we want to see whether the price can break this zone or not. And in this case, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.